Hi everyone, Kat here. Today I'm cooking some chicken and I'm cooking it by sous vide method. It's a water bath. So this is my ANOVA gadget that um, all it's doing is just controlling the temperature, the water temperature that um, a chicken's gonna be cooked in. Okay, so here I have some chicken that's already marinated marinated with some rosemary, black pepper, paprika, MSG, and uh, chicken bouillon. So you can marinate it any way you, you like, but this is chicken, chicken breast. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is dunk it in my water bath, my sous vide water bath. You can find this um, sous vide gadgets online. There's plenty of different brands, but mine's called the Anova. So basically, I'm just dumping in the chicken into the pot and then setting the uh, time. Temperature is already set at one at 140. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, sitting in there for at least an hour. Okay, so while we are waiting for the chicken to cook in the sous vide bath, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make a cream sauce for the chicken. So what I got here is some garlic, butter, flour and add some heavy cream and get the clumps out two cups of water And for the seasoning here, I have some chicken, chicken bouillon seasoning, chicken bouillon seasoning, some fresh rosemary and black pepper. And then we'll just bring this up to a boil. Okay, once it comes to a boil like this, you want to um, let it cook until the sauce thickens. And if it's too runny, you can always add more uh, flour, which I'm gonna do. Make sure you whisk it in so it doesn't get clumpy. total of two tablespoons of flour. I'm actually going to add some more um, bouillon as well. Chicken bouillon. I like it to be very savory and sauce to be savory and yummy. So by adding that bouillon that will give it that yummy savory flavor to the sauce. Okay, and then just let it cook down until the, the sauce thickens, all right? Okay, this is pretty much done. This is how I like the sauce to be. Okay, go ahead and turn this off and set it aside. Okay, so the chicken has been sitting in the water bath for an hour. Time is up. And just 
going to take it out of the pot. And I don't know if you can see clearly, but that's what it should look like. Doesn't look appetizing yet because we still need to finish uh, cooking it. I'm going to lightly sear it on both sides to make it look more appetizing. I'll just take it out of the bag. towels and you want to dab out some of the moisture before we sear it okay that for all the chicken okay. okay now let's get ready to sear it okay so the chicken looks very plain very pale, right? So what we're gonna do is heat up a pan, add some olive oil, the best way to sear a chicken would, uh, would be to use a blowtorch, which I do not have yet at the moment. I need to purchase one, but in the meantime, I'm just using a pan. Heat it up. The chicken is cooked. I just wanted to make it more appetizing. Okay, so go ahead and drop that down there. I'm going to let this tear about a minute on each side, okay? more appetizing doesn't it you can see it the pale white it's got some golden color to it okay so let's slice them up should be nice 
nice, tender, and juicy. Perfect. And with the sous vide, you'll always have a perfect, perfectly cooked chicken, beef, pork, fish, whatever you cook in there. Let's try some. Mmm, yummy. Let's see if I can show. Tender and juicy. Cook through and through. So this is sous vide method of cooking. Basically, basically a water bath gadget. This is the Anova brand. Okay. So plate you up some chicken. Doesn't that look delish? Very simple, very easy, perfectly cooked every time when you use a sous vide machine. So let's put some of our sauce that we made over it. Ah, look at that. Yummy, yummy dinner. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.